Hey, Tim DeStacio here, and this is Psychometric Saturdays. It's a brand new video series that I'm starting where every Saturday I'm going to drop just a very short video about psychometrics and the psychometric chart. Now, I have found over the years that psychometrics can be a very intimidating subject to learn and to master for technicians and building science professionals. But if we break it down very simply and we teach it in the right way, it doesn't have to be. First of all, what is psychrometrics? Well, it is the study of the properties of air, particularly how heat and moisture interact with one another to create the atmosphere and the environments that we live, work, breathe, and raise our families in. So the psychrometric chart really represents a window in which the air that we're in can be. It can be anywhere in this window. Now, this little red dot represents what we call the operating point, or pretty much the conditions of the air that we are in right now. So here I am inside my own house. It's very comfortable in here. And typically, we are comfortable around 70 to 75 degrees and around 50% relative humidity. Now, we'll get into all those terms here in a, middle, in, in a minute. But what I'm getting at is that in the chart, that range is sort of right in the middle. And that makes sense. The farther we get from the middle, the closer we get to the edges, the more extreme that the conditions are going to be. Now, when we're talking about the first property of air, which is dry bulb temperature, that's the kind of temperature that we read with a basic thermometer that you carry in your tool bag. We read the temperature rise and drop across a return in our supply. It's the same temperature that we're reading on the thermostat. So dry bulb temperature is just that. It's dry. It doesn't take into account the moisture in the air. Now, in the psychrometric chart, when we are adding or taking away heat or dry bulb temperature from the air, we're moving our dot left and right, okay? So left and right means that we, if we go to the left, we're taking away heat. If we go to the right, we're adding dry bulb heat. Now, the next term we're going to talk about is moisture. Moisture on the psychrometric chart is going up and down. So if we're adding moisture, we go up in the chart. If we take away moisture, we go down in the chart. So really there are four processes that we can do to air. And we're familiar with all four of these. We can strictly cool the air by moving the dot to the left. We can heat the air, which is what like a furnace or a heat pump would do. We move the dot strictly to the right. We can humidify the air where we add moisture to the air and we would be moving the dot straight up, or we can dehumidify the air where we move the dot straight down. Now, some processes, we do more than that. We do both at the same time. For example, when we cool the air, we not only take away dry bulb temperature, but we also dehumidify. And so really this dot is gonna move diagonally. That is as far as we're gonna to get today. Next time, we'll get, take it a little bit further, but I hope you enjoyed this very first episode of Psychrometric Saturdays.